With 2017 animes coming to an end, I can only be hopeful that 2018 will be as good, and so far I don't think I'll be too dissatisfied. There are a few shows that I've been waiting for and some stuff I remember from when I was younger, so let's start with the show we've all been waiting for. It's about as much as you can expect from a show based on a 3 minute video from 2013. This season is setting out to prove that anything can become an anime. It's everything that I wanted from the show. It's ridiculous, funny, and they started off with one of my favorite jokes from the manga. Watch an episode, and if you like the humor, then I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of the show. A normal everyday girl goes to magic school, where she finds out she's actually super special. It's dumb, but I didn't completely hate it. It could be funny. The intro also has a lot of butt. The episode 2, maybe that helped. These two get abducted and their family comes to save them with their hereditary magic. Then shit gets crazy. The first episode was a lot of fun. This one could easily get awful as it goes on though, so we'll see. Also, the intro is amazing. They definitely got his comedy down. The horror though? Well, it's more animated than Yami Shibai, but I know most people don't like that series, so I guess that's not saying much. It's still better than these two though. If you enjoy Juji Ito's writing and aren't expecting it to be the scariest show ever, then you should enjoy it. The songs for the opening and ending are really good too. Agaru has to deal with the class rep moving in with her and they kiss. A lot. There's also a CG army and some of them are on a different plane of existence. I read enough of this one to probably know where the season is going to end. It's not going to be good. If you think the show is going to get any better past the first episode, you'll probably be disappointed. I won't watch any more of this, but if you're really into girls making out, so much to sit through tons of forced drama, then more power to you. Like anime boys? Here's a whole lot of them. Even this thing, if that's what you're into. I really hate the girl's hair, it has way too much going on. Also, she's a spy or something? As much as I love fantasy, I think I'm getting tired of it. That's not my reason for hating this show though. These two countries that were about to form an alliance decide not to after the demon lord kills their leaders. Then some super epic fight happens. I don't recommend this one to anyone. It's more generic isekai harem shit. This one is even more annoying though. The world he gets transported to is a game that he's developing, so he would actually have a reason to be OP. He could abuse the item duplication bug that he knows exists, or even just know the best way to level. Instead, he's given three spell scrolls that boost him to level 300 after they kill an army. Now that he's the strongest man in the world, there's nothing left to do but to collect his harem. If you liked smartphone, then I'm sure you'll love this one. <laughs> main boy is always being teased by main girl, and that's the whole story. It's really cute, and I love it. This one is one of my favorite mangas, and I'm really excited to watch the rest of this. It's being made by the same studio that made Sekikun, so I trust them with this one. If you like the show, then you should check out the spin-off manga where they're adults. These two have recently become orphans, and now older brother is forced to join the babysitting club. It's cute, and a little sad. I watched Card Captor as a baby boy. I'm probably not the target demographic anymore. So, how is this one? 
It's alright. Most of the first episode was spent reminding you who all the characters were. The last two minutes has actual action. It looks like she'll still have a lot of different outfits in this one as well. Main Boy gets sent a cute mummy from his father. No, not that one. Or that one. Now they have adventures. It's pretty cute. I don't really like either of these two other creatures. It doesn't seem like it'll be very plot heavy, and I'm fine with that. It's a noble ambition to attempt to make the most boring show of all time, and I have to commend these studios for such an achievement. Meet Blonde Girl, who just wants to eat some ramen. Now meet Blue Hair, who is incapable of leaving poor Blonde alone. I couldn't even finish the first episode in one sitting. Oh, I see. Sanrio Boys. It's a Fujo show for girls who like Sanrio characters. If that doesn't describe you, then don't even try and watch it. I wish I didn't. If you watched three Gatsu and thought, these characters are too complex for me, I wish there were more generic lollies, then boy have I got the show for you. Meet Shogi Superstar and his Naked Apprentice. Now look at all these top Shogi players. My favorite parts were when Main Boy got serious and put on his old lady glasses, and when he falls backwards but lands on top of the lolly. For a cute girl's talk with each other show, this wasn't too bad. I mean, look at all these fucking frames these girls have. <laughs> Even when they talk about boring shit like the meanings to their names, you can at least just look at the animation. It's not bad. I was hoping for a relaxing show about camping, but I guess I'll have to settle with half a cute girl show on top of my relaxing Japanese campground experience. This girl wants to do something with her life because, like me, hasn't done anything with it. So she wants to go travel and find adventure. She meets this girl who's addicted to Antarctica and they become friends and then smug at each other. I want to know how they get to Antarctica, so I'll keep watching. <laughs> These lollies work hard to keep their town safe, but really it's just three girls having fun playing in their town. It's a pretty good comedy. Hmm? This is a sweet show about a high school girl working at a family restaurant. She has feelings for her 45-year-old manager. It's a good shoujo show, and it seems like it'll be lots of fun. I've been waiting for this one for a while. The first episode was mostly set up for the post-war setting. The main character is a veteran who lost her hands during the war and she wants to find new meaning to her life now that the war is over. The art in the first episode was really good, so hopefully it stays consistent and doesn't disappoint. <laughs> when I saw the preview for this one, I was excited to be able to drink with cute anime girls again this season. But it sells itself as more of an advertisement, which was slightly dissatisfying. Orphans are trained to pilot mechs in pairs to fight alien dinosaurs. I didn't think this one was too bad, but it has some really dumb cliches, like how he just happens to grab her panties, or how he lost his power till he kissed the Oni girl. I remember when they had the first chapter of this in Shonen Jump in America. I also remember hating it. Is it better now? No.
Nope, it's still awful. This guy fights main character and then helps him because he wants to have a good fight with him again someday. Don't watch this. <laughs> Three percent of the population in this city are assassins. The main character is a detective who is targeted after investigating the mayor. There's a misunderstanding which feels like something that would happen in Fargo, and the first episode wasn't too dumb with all the assassins. <laughs> So this was bad. Close to the levels of King's Game bad. The main girl is a honey badger human hybrid and they have to do killing bites, which are battle tournaments. I can't wait for some super funny honey badger memes to resurface. <laughs> These two girls are tiny and they live together. They go on an adventure, then they go to town. In the world where half the population is probably robots, the evil meme company made some robots that can make their own decisions, so obviously they have to fight over Main Boy. Generic girls fight CG monsters. And each other. Hmm. Oh, this is the right one. This season wasn't awful. There's a lot of shows that I'll be watching, but almost just as many that I'll be dropping. And these shows are just kinda average. I'll watch a few more episodes, but I'll probably end up setting them aside to save some time.